you know, uh, sometimes it's difficult to get uh, good help in uh, the office. Let me give you an example of that. My first office, uh, when uh, we were in, moved to Houston, was a very small section of a very large house. There were five doctors, three at the first floor and two at the second. And I just had a small corner because as a starting internist with a special interest, I didn't need a lot of space. Uh, my nurse uh, had a desk out in the waiting room, which is actually the downstairs of the big house. Uh, I, the first help I had was an actual nurse. She came to work in a nurse's uniform, your nurse's cap. Uh, she was a little on the older side, but it didn't matter. She seemed to know her way around and took good care of me. One morning, uh, she called in, said uh, she wasn't feeling good. She thought it was just a 24-hour thing, and she promised to be on, in tomorrow morning. But I needed some help. That day, I needed somebody to answer the phone and uh, do the little things so that it looked I was busy. And uh, so it struck me a great idea to call mom. I called her and I said, I need you. She said, I'll take care of the boys. They were just uh, Richard and Steve. I'll be right there. So it wasn't more than 15 minutes. She came in and I was greatly relieved. I was busy doing things, taking care of patients, doing some dictating. When she came in and said, I'm bored. I don't have anything to do. So I said, uh, here's a letter that I wrote out longhand. I want you to type it up. That'll be a big favor for me. So she said, great. She sat down at the desk and typed away. A few minutes later, she came back, stood uh, by the desk like uh, a child handing an assignment. She said, here's your letter. I looked at it. I gave it back to her. I said, it's got a couple mistakes. Please do it over. She became rigid, her face was unsmiling. She stood there with her arms stretched down, her finches, fists clenched. She said, I'll never come to work at this place again.